last couple of years, I feel like we're seeing uh, a higher level of HR or employee relations presence in our seminars. Mm -hmm. But there still seems to be this line in the sand between the loss prevention and the security team. Uh, you know, why do we need HR in there? Or they want HR a part of it, and there's resistance on that end. Uh, where do you think that crossover is between those, these two divisions? Yeah, I, I've always been a big advocate that uh, any LP should have their HR partner sitting with them through the training class for a couple different reasons. One, just to simply make sure that HR understands what they may, they as LP are going through when they sit down and talk to someone about theft, fraud, or some other sort of integrity issue. But more importantly, there's often times that we're seeing more and more, especially with a Me Too movement, things like this, where HR is getting involved in some high level investigations themselves. So to upskill them and provide them some of the, the, the skills and resources that allows them to have a non-confrontational interview over a difficult subject. Right, and I think understanding that all the non-confrontational methods that we go over can be easily translated from a theft case, a fraud case, harassment, fraternization, you know, any of these cases, the same methods can be applied, so we might as well share that knowledge with each other. Yeah, and I think it's really important for people to understand that while certainly sometimes we focus on the theft and the fraud and the LP side, the skill set that we provide really are skill sets that can be used in any sort of workplace scenario including that entire employee cycle from onboarding someone to an exit interview and everything in between. Yeah, anytime you're trying to get the truth, use it using one of those those concepts. And I think from a career development standpoint, even the LP professional, when you become the go-to, the best interviewer, you kind of become the hero for the organization, that whether it's a theft case, a, a travel expense fraud, or harassment, people identify your credibility as you're the interviewer regardless of the case type. So knowing how to translate those skill sets are, are important. Absolutely, and partnerships in the workplace are very important as well. Yeah, I'd be interested, I know we both experienced this in our careers, but for those of you out there that have, have done a great job of embracing other silos in your company and creating partnerships, especially in the investigation world, how are you doing that? What are some of your keys to success? We can help share that with, uh, with the WC community. Thanks for watching. Once again, we'd appreciate any thoughts, input, or questions, more importantly, any experience you have in, part in creating partnerships in the workplace.